this is a subject that I just wanted to cover briefly. Um, whenever you find yourself in a place for years and years and years, you become acclimated to that atmosphere, that environment, those people, that way of life. So you develop a, spur a certain pattern, uh, character, habits, traits that become thoroughly ingrained in your subconscious mind that become a part of who and what you are. And then when all of that changes, it's very abrupt for the person to just go, okay, I'm going to just become a different person right now. It doesn't happen like that. So you find yourself doing the same things in a new place that you did from the past. And unfortunately, doing those old things in that new place are detrimental. So when the universe is offering you something new, like a new vibrational environment, a new space, a new energy field, a new life, the last thing that you want to do is find yourself being the same old person that you once were that caused you to stay stuck in the past. Because whatever you're giving your energy to is growing and it's amplifying and it becomes your reality. It becomes a part of the everything that you are. So when you find yourself talking the way you used to, complaining or bringing things up that are of a detrimental nature or some maybe negative things that are bothering you, and you continually keep doing it and you're following the patterns of the past, you're actually ruining the progress of what is meant for you to come. <clears throat> the way I see it is this. If you continue to follow the same patterns, you're always going to get the same situations and experiences. If you continue to follow the same patterns of behaviors and yet you're expecting a different outcome, that's just lunacy. You have to not follow any patterns. You have to create new designs of everything, being, the way you see the world, the way you act, conduct yourself, carry yourself, thinking, the way you just are as a person. It's like a cookie cutter. If you have a cookie cutter in the shape of a Christmas tree and you keep pressing it into the dough over and over again, you're always going to get that one shape because you're following a pattern. You can't expect to have a cookie cutter in the shape of a Christmas tree and you're going to get something in the form of a in the shape of a circle or a horse or a rocket ship. It's just not going to happen. You have to create new designs. And it takes practice to do this because these things don't just go away. It's almost like being addicted to something for so long that it becomes familiarized. You acclimate to it. It's normal. This is the way life should be. So it doesn't just want to let you go. And when I say it, I mean the energies that were comprised of that old vibrational field that you just came from. So don't be hard on yourself. <clears throat> Practice breeds proficiency. Perfection does not exist. So don't try to be perfect in anything. Just be the best version of you possible, whatever you feel that that is. And along the way, of course, we're going to trip a little bit here and there. But that's what we learn from. We learn from those experiences. Some people call them mistakes. It is a mistake when it happens once. But if it happens more than once, then it's a pattern of habit and behavior. Then it becomes habitual. And then it becomes thoroughly ingrained in your character. And then you start from where you were from the past. And you basically undo all of the work that the universe is trying to help you with. So it's all the subtle things that you don't perceive that can be the difference between you're moving forward or you're keeping yourself stuck in the past. You have to understand something. Many people were never motivated to realize who and what they are of, of the fact that you are a, a, a cosmic being that is capable of manifesting greatness and miracles anytime, anywhere with your unlimited transformative potential. Nobody told you that. They just said that you are going to be this occupation, nine to five job. That's it. So you don't even know what this is, what you're looking at. There's no way you could. This is something through the exploration of yourself, you discover these things on your own because they're not going to volunteer these answers. So you have to create your own designs of what you feel your life should be or what you don't want it to be and what it means to you, what you regard as valuable and what you disregard as having no, no value whatsoever. You have to make these things up as you go along because there's no manual out there 
for you to say, here, here's the book of your life to get it right every time. It doesn't exist. So, leaving you with just something to ponder. When you focus your energy on anything, it becomes an extension of your energy, whatever that is. And the two become one. And then what you find up winding up is to see yourself becoming whatever that thing is. And it's never a good thing if what it is you're connected with is a negative thing. But if it's a positive, then stay connected to it. But the most important thing that you can understand is that this is trial. This is a crucible. Tribulations. You're going to, you know, become proficient as you go along. And the best thing that you can understand is that you're going to make what they call mistakes along the way. But learn from them. Grow from them. Don't continue to live the pain, but learn from it and grow from it. This way it can make you a better person and put you in a completely different place and you're not finding yourself like a broken record, just looping. You know, you send out the same energy, same experiences come back, and you're just driving yourself downward and you're not going anywhere. You should say to yourself, the next time an experience presents itself to you, what is the universe attempting to teach me through the energies of these experiences? And the first thing that you don't want to do is have a victim mentality. Why is this happening to me? God has forsaken me. The world is against me. Everything is out to get me. You know, it, the, the world is just trying to cripple me and take me out. No. Everything is happening for your benefit. You just have to have the proper perceptive lens to actually view these things as they are. As I've said in my earlier video, God isn't keeping any secrets from you. And God is not out to get you. The only one out to get you is you. Because if you're perceiving these things as attacks, you know, and traps and ambushes, that's what it's going to be. But if you see them as gifts and lessons, lessons and blessings and treasures and offerings and, 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 and possibilities for you to grow and a chance for you to actually gain wisdom and knowledge from these experiences, that'll be the instructions you need to take you to the next step and the next. It's like educating yourself. You know, the more you're educated, the more you can do with that knowledge, that information, that intelligence, and that wisdom, and the higher you go. And that's basically what it is. But don't be hard on yourself when you find yourself doing the same things you did before in your new reality. Because you have to squelch those things immediately. They cannot become a pattern. Because what will end up happening is they will be the downfall of your new reality. And you're going to find yourself doing the same thing in a different place, and then all of the growth is going to stop. So I wish you the very best. God bless you. Namaste. And always know that you are always loved and you are never alone. God is always with you because you are always with yourself. Amen.